So how are parasites in dogs treated? I'm Kyle Cook and I'm here with Dr. Kristen Christie and we're with the Animal Hospital of Statesville. So our goal today is to answer your questions about preventing and treating parasite in man's and woman's best friend, your dog. So the first question is, what are the treatments for dog parasites? I guess it depends on what parasite you're treating, <laughs> of course, clearly. Um, but we've got lots of good orals, whether it's um, pills or liquids. We've got some injectable types of treatments, depending on what we're going for, um, and topicals as well. So depending on you know, fleas, ticks, intestinal parasites, heartworms, those are usually what we're kind of going for. Um, and well, the treatment is... It's not the treatment for the heartworm, it's the pre prevention. Good so, point on that. Yeah. Yep, good point on that. I guess Just I kind of to be was, clear. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Prevention for certain diseases and then treatment for some others. Um, and then some of it depends on the frequency of use, whether it's a single use, whether it's a repeated use, or like heartworm prevention is more like a, a monthly treatment. Sure. If one of my pets has parasites, do all pets in the home need to be uh, to receive treatment? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. If we're talking a litter of puppies, then absolutely, we'll deworm them all, you know, but if we're talking like um, heartworms, no, not necessarily. We don't have to treat every pet for heartworms just because we discover one had them. Now we do need to per get them on prevention. That would definitely be recommended. Mm -hmm. um, tapeworms, that one can be a yes or a no because usually a dog is not gonna catch a tapeworm from another dog. They're gonna catch it from the flea that they ingest. And so if you have pets that have fleas, they probably both have been exposed to a similar kind of situation. They both may have tapeworms, but they didn't catch it from one another. So there's definitely different, you know, different times when we use different treatments. Okay, can I get parasites from my dog? Uh, a lot of times, yes. You absolutely can. Um, it is important to practice good hygiene. Wash your hands, clean up you know, the stool or whatever if they're going to the bathroom, throw it away, don't keep it out in the yard, you don't want to cross-contaminate everything. Um, but there are plenty of parasites you're not going to catch from them, but, but absolutely, you know, it's real out there. There are, there are some diseases that you do need to uh, you know, be proactive about. It is not just a third world country problem, yeah. in other words. So it can and, happen. And we need to be worried about our children, you know, and, and the facts that they're crawling around, picking things up, putting stuff in their mouth. You know, they love the dog and they love putting their hands in their mouth. So and food. food. Yeah. yeah. Pet the dog, eat food. <laughs> it's not an everyday thing, I'm sure. And it's not something that should necessarily keep you up at night. But, <laughs> but be smart about it. You know, washing hands, trying to be clean, cleaning up messes and everything. Yeah. So are parasitic infections serious or will they go away on their own? Some can be serious and life-threatening. A uh, majority of them are not gonna just go away on their own. Um, the only thing I guess I can think of, we had previously mentioned coccidia, I guess, as technically a parasite, um, a protozoan parasite, and your immune system can kind of get that in check. And in, in some demodex cases, we mentioned that one as mm -hmm. well, if it's a small minor case of demodex, your immune system may get that in check. But most parasites, you're really gonna have to treat them. They're not just gonna disappear. You know, intestinal parasites, heartworms, fleas and ticks, you usually have to do something about it. It's not gonna go away. I think you'd want to. Yes, As soon true. as you saw them or knew that there was something like that around you, you would want to get them taken care of as fast as possible, so. Absolutely. Can I use natural or over-the-counter treatments for my dog? Typically, I'd say no. Um, if there were some very effective you know, natural or over-the-counter non-prescription, you know, treatments for these, we wouldn't have the significant amount of problem that we do with a lot of these diseases and these parasites. So I would not recommend it. I've definitely seen quite a few dogs come down with heartworms after being on, you know, natural remedies at home. Okay. So what can I do at home to treat or prevent parasite infections? And I think you kind of went over that to clean, scoop, yep. Um, wash your hands um, yep. and keep your dog on heartworm preventions because oftentimes those have heartworm, flea, tick, and intestinal parasite. Yeah, um, absolutely. 
That she answered that question. I don't need to. <laughs> I, I've worked here for just a little while too. All right. So if you have questions about the tree not, treatment for canine parasites, please call us. We know this isn't really a pleasant topic, but parasitic infections can cause serious health issues in your pet, and we want to keep, help keep your dog pet not pet free. We want to help keep your pet parasite free. <laughs> we'll get it. Thank you.